Bum 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 bum
That is impressive. Very impressive. You all had your own... Your own... Schema. You would be formidable hero opponents to my Zargon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we got NPC bots now, too. It's the Pumpkin King! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, you've got to fight the Pumpkin King. It's the boss's... The boss has two turns. Ah, you have... You have three commands. Wait, that is the NPC bot number two. Oh, okay, you're all lined up. You're all lined up and you're going to attack him. Looks like Gravendahl is going to be the next person to go after NPC bot four. And you will be able to... What options do you have? Oh my god, the boss was able to attack three characters at once. Oh! Oh! You could do something called a mortal strike. You can do demoralize, or you can protect another target. And I don't know how the uh, act targets work. I don't know how any of this works. Looks like, hmm, interesting. It didn't work. I wonder if you've got to do like an app boss. I should have joined in on the battle myself. Oh, he went ahead and attacked just like two randos. Guys are in f on fire. Do like an at boss after your command. Good morning, Ward Icon. You missed the uh, you missed the recruitment phase. We're all kind of figuring out how this even works to begin with, so. Ward Icon is is there, but he's invisible. He's a he's a spectator. I believe if you were going to hit the boss, you'd have to do your command and then space and then the at sign and then I'm not sure. I guess I would say boss with the capital B just to be safe. But even then, I don't know if that's correct. Can't read it. So like exclamation point smite exclamation point focus or exclamation point heal but it's got a 30 second timer on it it's too fuzzy is it what's uh what's your display oh it's also possible that my um my webcam and stuff are quite in the way oh it's, it's got a little bit of a background it might be just a really small screen 144p <laughs> Yeah, that might do it. That might do it. Trying to force it to go higher. Well, you can either do a... Uh, it depends. It depends on your, your role. I should have joined. I should have joined so I could try some stuff. You could do a mortal strike, a demoralize, or a protect at target. Or or the, the, the mortal strikes and stuff are actually working, and his health is just moving so incrementally that it's hard to see. Yeah, that worked. That worked! Awesome! That was a tiny little chunk. Good little chunk. But you can only do that once, and then it's the next person in line's turn. So he's got to have, like, 500 hit points. Oh. Ribby's emoji that appears over his head. 
Almost dead. Almost dead. You could do a fire bolt, life steal, or dampen. Life steal, everyone restores health for 25% of damage for 10 turns. Firebolt deals 28 damage and inflicts burn damage for three turns, and it's stackable. As the end of the turn, he runs back to the end. Too late. They've got these annoying timers on. You get like 24 seconds to make a decision. Benjamin has smite, focus, or heal at target. Truly fascinating stuff. I wonder if I could set up brand new boss battles. That would be easier. Perhaps I can. Perhaps I can adjust the Pumpkin King's health. Heal the boss. We're screwed. <laughs> Just a trial run. It's just a little... It's just a... The boss scowls at Ribby. I didn't type that. It is typing on my behalf. It's scowling at you, though. That can't be good. The command didn't work. I think because uh, it had to be a capital B in the Benjamin. I think that's why... Because I noticed it didn't work, but you did it in time. You have to decide faster than the last about eight seconds as well, because by the time you see it on the stream, it's about eight seconds too late. So that's going to be another factor that I should have uh, mentioned way early on. Ah, so that's what happened when he scowls at you, Ribby. You get an extra attack. Oh! Oh, no! You guys just shattered! Ribby is gone. Ribby is no longer. It's Benjamin's turn. You've almost got full health. Somebody else healed you. Oh, nice. Nicely done. It worked. Tell my story. <sighs> Ribby had a blockhead. He fought for the realm. His sword was unable to pierce the thick hide of the Pumpkin King, unable to carve a legend into his gruesome visage. There are things about this I love so much. I'm going to set you guys up with all kinds of boss battles and stuff. And that's how we make these truly... Yeah, 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 Mortal Strike. Yeah, you did it! He lost 38 HP. He's almost halfway down. Oh no, another one just got shattered. Matt's daydreaming of chickies. NPC just healed another NPC. Wow, that's... Oh no, the NPC uh, healed Gravendall. Oh, very clever, you joined on both. I see now, I see that now. now. Now the comment makes sense. You joined on both, that was clever. Cleverly done. The boss is scowling at you, Matt. You're uh, you're in trouble now. Uh oh. Yep. You just got a bunch of pumpkin guts. Oh, there goes Matt. There goes Matt. The boss is relentless. 
He's relent. This is a raid boss for the ages. NPC bought four's turn, just healed Benjamin. Benjamin's the last one alive. No, Gravendall's in there too. There's some crowding. There's some crowding of the NPCs and bots, so it's hard to, for me to see. It looks like four people are taking up three positions. Benjamin's turn, what will he do? The trick is gonna be to have your comments and everything typed out by the time your character walks up to the Pumpkin King. Make sure that the capital letters and everything are where they're supposed to be. He did a smite. It worked. 25 boss. 25 damage to the boss. And it looks like some healing as well. Very good. Oh! NPC bot 3 oh, is gone. It's just Benjamin and Gravendahl and NPC bot 4 left. Boss is down to 60% health. Not exactly what I would call down to the wire. I notice there's a there's input lag between your command as well. Gravendall is stuck. You're right. He's not actually moving. That's what's happening. Oh, bot four. Do it, bot four. Get him. Boss froze you. I guess so. I don't know how. I don't know the intricacies here, the, the, the finer details of how this works. You guys got him down to 66%. Less than. Heal boss? The target was not found. You were really going to turn traitor there at the last minute. And hope that, uh... Hope that the boss would have spared you. Oh! Oh, wow. That is the round. That's the match. The boss is victorious. Better luck next time. Everybody, coming back? That was, uh, that was something. That was truly something. Good game. Good game indeed. Let's get this damn music off of here. Sorry. Sorry for leaving it on that, on that tingly music the whole time. That actually was probably very annoying. Uh, we're ready to go to the next quest. Do we have anything that would be worth buying? 10 gold, 30 gold, 40, 240 altogether. Can we buy a staff? Yes. We can actually get a staff for our wizard. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty useful, I think. 240. We're really close to being able to afford another broadsword. I think we should save for a crossbow. The crossbow is a must-have. But in our journey to save for the crossbow, let's go ahead and grab that. That staff. We're going to give it to the wizard. And I think we did. So, next quest. Onward, brave heroes, to the Halls of Vision. King Agrayan was one of the greatest rulers in a time before chaos. Although he was a powerful and feared warrior, he was also known for his fairness. Agrain dabbled in magic and created the Halls of Vision, a maze of magical rooms. The secret of the halls lies in the keys of Agrain. You must find these valuable keys and reach the safety of the wooden exit door. Daughter's coming up on quest four, Prince Magnus's gold. Do you let the heroes keep the gold and lie that they didn't find it? Uh... How's your daughter? How how do, how is your daughter having the game? How how is she experiencing it? Is she doing pretty good? Mm. 
Is this quest three? I remember we had to bravely retreat last time. This is quest four. We made it through to the end of quest three last time. Prince Magnus' gold, doing good. So, I'd, I'd house rule one of the chests to have 100 gold. I'd have the massive gold amount continue to be a fake thing. Then like right after the reveal, say that one of the chests of gold was legitimate and have it be like, I don't know, you could say, you could say 100, you could say 50, and then have her go ahead and roll two movement dice and multiply that by 10 and add it on there. I see where people do that, and then later Prince Magnus finds out and closes the armory until paid back. I that's clever. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't subject my people to a debt. That feels like something that belongs in the Hero Quest roleplay system. Guys, thank you for participating in that boss battle. That was a joy to watch. Now, it might have been a slog for you guys, but it was really fun to watch. I'll have to modify him, and I'll have to uh, make sure to give clear instructions. I'll make a whole background screen that'll tell you your entire list of commands and everything, so everybody will be able to see it. Nice big font. I feel like they get stronger earlier than... But if she's doing well with the current challenge, yeah, I would I would continue to be like, yeah, the gold's not real. Builds that that healthy distrust of the the hero quest game world. Since I watch on mobile, it was tricky. You did fantastic for a mobile. Absolutely. I feel like I I understand the the struggle. Bit loud for me. Turn that down. Another teens. There we go. There we go, indeed. Who's going first? The barbarian, bravely. Trunching through the halls. Immediately gonna search for traps and doesn't find any. You go, the elf. We are. We lost our our barbarian, but that's the only hero we've lost so far in the last three quests. Did you just smite me? I died? <sighs> Killed me? No! How dare. The audacity. No traps. Come into this hall, search for secret doors. Nope. And then here. Uh, nothing to search for here. We are going to equip the staff for our wizard. I don't want to forget to do that. We have the broadsword equipped for you. We have the short sword equipped for you. And we have a helmet and broadsword equipped for the elf. So we've got two makeshift tanks. Attack Gravendall. No wish. No witnesses. Hey, it's XSC the third home of HeroQuest fans. Welcome, welcome. I flew off the screen. That's awesome. I love these little chibi guys. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I I think I'm gonna try to grab these sprites and put them as the hero. Oh my god! She just went flying. What happened? Getting a cold, brother. Not excited. Oh man. That's gonna impact your ability to rant. I can I can hear it now. Rant <coughs> No! Don't throw devices like that at me. Rant, cough, cough, sneeze. Yeah, man, feel better. Gotta body slam that cold. Just body slam it, bro. It's easy. I thought I already ended my turn. 
Traps? I already searched for traps. Secret doors I want to search for. It doesn't like super matter because there's no enemies on the board yet. No enemies. Let's go. Barbarian's getting left behind. What are you doing, Barbarian? You playing on your phone? A 12. I like that. I think Kurgan, Home of Hero Quest fans there, aka Kurgan, I think he has a system wherein if you roll doubles, you get to perform a body, uh, a wrestling move, a body move. Something like that. Yam Fira, Yami Fira. Welcome and good morning, friend. Glad you could make it. Three plus white shields on your turn. That's the that's the wrestling move prompt, or when you're defending. So like, your guys, they can just be like, I want to uh, full Nelson this chaos warrior, and then just fall back and, and attempt to slam him. Throw. You guys are using. You guys are really getting into these commands. I got y'all used to the commands. Now that now you're gonna. Was that the secret door? No. That's the door that appeared regardless. What about traps? Let's get all up in this grill. Okay, well, I'm not going to enjoy what happens next because all of this empty corridor can only mean one thing. Oh. No traps. No secret doors. Ba -ba. Treasure. 25 gold coins. Good, good. We need more gold coins. We need to be able to find or uh, afford a crossbow. Jace took it to the next level with the Ravensburger WWE Royal Rumble card game. Draw a card from the wrestling deck. I love it. An official source. So, what, the cards have, have wrestling moves on them? That sounds way more entertaining than it has any right to be. Three black shields, the bad guy gets a wrestling move. Oh my god. No, at least the bad guy has an extremely low chance of getting that. So the Barbarian will now search for treasure, and there's a monster. So... Not liking this. Get rid of it. In turn. Now, the Dwarf is gonna search for treasure. Hit. Don't care for that. Now, the Elf. Elf has already searched. Okay, we've we've searched for enough treasure. Let's go to the next room. Trap? No. Secret door? No. I think I had the same feeling of unease the last time as well. We're gonna actually end our turn. We're going to have the Barbarian search for treasure from here. Monster! Wizard just B-slapped that mummy. Elf's going to search for treasure. Got 15 gold coins. End turn. We're cheesing this a little bit. Dwarf is searching for treasure. Another monster. Another monster. Not cool. Not cool. Get him, elf. Alright. That's enough of that. I've been told I need to use AI to change the images to show HQ characters performing the moves on the cards. 
<laughs> Work complete. Suddenly you have access to a catapult. Don't tell me that wouldn't be awesome. Don't tell me that wouldn't be amazing. I just opened that door. I had no intention to do so. Uh, we're gonna stay here. Let the mummy come to me. Maybe I should have taken the initiative there. That's my bad. There we go. A door magically disappears before your eyes. No door disappeared. Oh. I am recalling something screwy happening with this quest. I am recalling something weird now. I think it bugged because I killed the mummy from outside the room. I think that door is the one that was supposed to disappear. I think my heroes were forced to be separated the first time I went through this. Yeah, the giant spiders one, the battle masters one, is, that's correct. I should actually go download that, make sure I have it because I can take the graphics from that bad boy too. Have a great one, Kurgan. Be safe out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No traps. And turn. Just a mummy. Just a mummy. Now I'm wondering if I kill that mummy. Yeah, why not? Let's put him here. Let's put him here. Let's bring these guys up and let's have the mummy come out of the room. Good morning, Black Scott. I like the idea of rolling doubles having an in-game effect as well. It's a nice little random bit of eventing. I am... A door magically disappears before your eyes. It worked. Yep. Uh, we're screwed. We have frozen ourselves. So... Huh. Huh. I needed to go into that door before I killed the mummy. This was kind of a test, but also it's not good that that happened. Oh, okay, okay, we get, we do get secret doors though. We do get the secret doors. How many times will this happen? Will I get access to all the rooms if I need to? Will all the doors magically co- The, uh, the answer is, of course, partially in the quest book. But my, my question is, how will the software handle this? Because I don't know if this was coded the exact same way. I have a, I have a broadsword. I cannot attack diagonally. Yeah, that's wild. And there's no secret doors. Okay, and turn. We found 10 gold. Search for traps. There's nothing. Leave. Search for secret doors out here. Nope. Is that... Is that the move that freezes me out? Like, is that my lock? found a uh, heroic brew yeah I think that does it we're gonna have to we're gonna have to retreat Ooh. 
I don't know about this. I don't know about this. No secret doors. Let's let's backtrack and see if we can find any. Any secret doors earlier now that might justify Monster! Oh thank you for uh appearing there of all places. Kinda sucks, that has to be the end of my turn. Rolling doubles. Get him, dwarf. Crap. Oh my god. Nope. It's unwinnable. Positively unwinnable. I'm going to see if I can exit the quest by using the back door. Because... I just got myself soft locked. I don't think it'll let me, which is a real shame because I would love to be able to keep the gold that I found. I've rolled quite a few doubles in this. <sighs> so, I have been pondering the kinds of content to take from Amalgam Ash and repost on Ash Quest. I think that this would have a, a couple of different advantages. Rather than saving the content in a new playlist, one, it's sitting there on the old channel. It's not getting any views or anything. Not new views. Uh, it could be very useful to represent it on Ash Quest. And for the second reason, it'll be relevant to uh, a wider amount of audience on that channel. So I think I'm going to take cherry pick, really, uh, some of the videos. I don't know if I'm going to do all the jam submissions. I'll have to think about that one. But I could. I could do the jam submissions. <sighs> We're just piling back in. A good example of something that I would take and put back on Ash Quest is uh I would take the Legend of Zagor unboxing video. I've got a dungeon quest unboxing video as well. At least those two. Yeah, we gotta restart. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. Okay. We'll just have to make sure we're all in the room before we attack and kill the mummy each time. So here we go. Can I do it? We didn't die. So... We didn't lose. We just had to start over. And I can still collect treasure and possibly run into less. Pansar86, salutations yourself. Welcome to the stream and good morning from the Midwestern US. What happened? Why would you do that? Don't do that. We're just playing some Hero Quest. Lurch Brick 
addition. This guy really needs to come back and A, program the EU expansions into this game system, and B, move it onto an alive server platform because it needs it badly. It's, uh, it's on a place that can only be accessed by the by the uh, archive wayback machine and that's not good that's that's quite inaccessible good evening from Sweden it's awesome someone from Sweden the jam vids are what made me a regular viewer and so do you think that there's value in putting the jam vids on this channel especially with um, especially with the I'll say especially with any future jams coming to this channel they won't be on Amalgamash if I have announcements I'll, I'll definitely announce on Amalgamash just to cover everybody I've been told that my use of empty jam jars as cups and saying now there as standalone word are tells of my midwestern upbringing Nother, I don't use Nother, but I could, I could see that, yeah. Empty jam jars as a cup. Yeah, well, I did that in Texas. So, bad, I'm programming as fast as I can. I won't pressure you. I will not pressure. I believe you. Um... The the next event may be a a uh, a creator agnostic event. I've been thinking I can do I can do events that are look at all the look at all the guests look at all the people in the uh, in the foreground. Jam jars make excellent cups. We Dutch do it too. The next event could I got two options. I got two options. I can feature a tool or I can make it tool agnostic. And featuring the tool would help give some exposure to the tool while making it tool agnostic makes it easier for all of the participants to just do it however they wish. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta do something so that my Discord doesn't pop in with stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. No, no, you're good. You're good. I don't care. You're you're sharing stuff. I just want for your own privacy. Yes, the game does save your progress and your equipment. Found a potion of strength. End turn. We're going to cheese this. Found a potion of healing. End turn. Found another potion of healing. End turn. Found 50 gold coins. This was my best treasure run yet. Bar none. Not a single monster. We can't do that again. We just took 50 coins. 
and three potions from the treasure deck. Okay, head all the way in. And you head all the way in. And you head all the way in. Then you head all the way in, and you're going to be the crushing blow. Or not. I mean, that's cool. Did anybody... Nobody's allowed to attack? Nobody? Well, that's not cool. They all... They just moved. And turn. Good morning, Nicholas. Good morning, Cole Morrison. Nick's about to catch a flight. We'll have a safe and enjoyable flight. When I was growing up, you could buy Nutella in glass jars that were designed to be used as glasses. Ah, I mean, cool. I didn't welcome you properly either to the stream, TLSL Frontman. Welcome. I did get your stuff, by the way. I've been looking at some of it. The, uh... Whoops, I forgot to move my wizard. Oh, snake eyes. I need to respond to you properly. I've got... So much stuff people like to send to me to, to take a look at and review and give feedback for. I can't give anything other than my own ignorant opinion, but uh, it's still really cool. Oh, I can't finish my movement like that. I've got to take the turns properly. Well, mummy first. We need our heroes in here. Now we can attack him. Oh, I forgot. I gotta equip that staff. Now I can attack him. No, I can't. It doesn't take effect on the same turn. Interesting. Oh, no. I didn't equip it right. It does take effect on the same turn. You know what? That's cool. That's cool. Get him. We did it. The door magically disappeared before our eyes, but... Oh no. No, it's really cool. I have, uh... Some content from that anime snob. That's his name. That, that's not what I'm calling him. That I need to address as well. We'll have the wizard come in and attack the mummy, since the mummy's going to have more than one body point anyway. And then I will hope to have the barbarian, yes, be able to move right next to the mummy and hopefully kill him in one blow. Yes! We are doing fantastic. End our turn, and let's get bundled up next to this door. And just in case everybody rolls small, we've got to meta this. And have everybody go in, stand where they can, yup, and then mummy's turn. Oh boy, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. That mummy is doing such a great job defending. Mummies in this game typically give me such a hard time. They're like immortal. No, no pun or anything intended. They are just terrible. There we go. Gone. <gasps> Wrong door! Thank God, there's a secret door. Oh, skeletons. Stay there. Just stay there.
Let's do this. Skeletons and zombies, let's go. Ooh. Aren't you a brave one? Damn it. Dang it. Wow. Barbarian. Yes, that's what I like to see. Advancement. Zombies turn. Zombies get about to get destroyed. Didn't happen. Did happen. End turn. I'm going to have my elf go in here and search treasure. Wandering monster. Not cool. Uh, attack. Not cool. Shouldn't have had my elf stand in the doorway like that. End the turn. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, what are you equipped with? The broadsword. That's that's three combat die. You have just as much of a chance as anybody else to get him. So get him. Once again, the wizard is totally owning. But not doing a great job. There we go. Done. Pile up back in the room, because I have an idea. In turn, Barbarian, search for treasure. We got a... <sighs> this is quest four. We've got to find Agrain's keys, and we have to... We have to split. Uh, I'll do a treasure search after the next turn round. 25 coins. Wizard. Wizard now. Get them coins. 10 gold coins! Yeah! We've got a total of 85 gold from this quest so far. We're not likely to get much more than that. We were very lucky to get the ones that we've gotten so far. I will still search rooms. One of my groups starts Wrath of the Witch Lord, Return of the Witch Lord next week. Cool. Cool. Hope you got that spirit blade handy. Uh, Mr. Smith has not done any actions this turn. Do I want? Do I want? What do I want to? Do? I can at least search for. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do anything. End turn. Doors? No. Traps? No. End turn again. We are definitely metaing this. Okay, so I've got two of my people who could use healing, but I... Oh. Oh my. Well. Yes. Very good. Very, very good. And then we'll have people line up kind of like this, giving just enough space for the barbarian, if he needs to roll two, to go back get out of the way after his attack. These guys aren't going to be able to do anything. Doorway combat is something that can be annoying, but it's only the quest designer's fault if there's corridor combat like this. However, there's nothing wrong with corridor combat. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, it just is what it is. This is normal skirmish. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. So, that did not work. Not good. Not good. There we go. Very good. Very, very good. Um, I can send my Barbarian out. He will be the Prote- Oh god, there's zombies. You know what? Fine. And then, my wizard, who will- Heal my dwarf. You will heal him. With a spell. Heal body. There we go. Got my tanks. New group, or did you hold the trial till later? Uh, this is a new group. This is a brand new group. 
the intent is to start a new group. I'm going to do a, a new group on, on Return of the Witch Lord. Get him through here without the Spirit Blade. Then I'm going to do the same thing with um, Keller's Keep. New group only. The uh, only loss I've had so far is Barbarian. Uh, 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 this is my second Barbarian. Everybody else has been doing fantastically. The wizard in particular. I always appreciate a good wizard kicking butt. This wizard is boss. He is very boss. Okay. Okay. How do I want to play this? I don't want anybody to be able to get to to uh Ah, uh, I missed the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My group is starting to trial this Sunday. Gotcha. I, uh... I don't want any hero to get hit twice. That doesn't seem to be, like, a, an option that I have, really, though. Because I'd have to make sure I killed. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that, that, that settles that. Snake Eyes. You're gone. Search for traps, not that, that matters. Search for secret doors, found one. Approach it, and turn. And turn. Here we are, search for traps, nothing. Move out of the way. Search for more secret doors, nothing, and turn. Open door. Skeleton! Okay, we gotta go back to our habits where... Ow! Where we get everybody in here. End the turn, let the skeleton attack. Doing this because... Don't know what door is gonna disappear. No door has disappeared, that's good. And look at that crap. There's that door. That's how we get our other heroes in. Gotcha. They'll first open the door. Two mummies. I don't think well, there's there's no risk of us uh necessarily having the door closed if we just kill one of these guys, right? So we're going to kill one. Or not. That's fine. Ow. Attack. Okay. Attack. Attack. Come into the room. And turn. Stop attacking my dwarf, you fool. Dwarf needs healing. I think he's the one who needed healing last time. That's that. We can end our turn here. Uh, search for traps. Should have done that way earlier. Secret doors. Nothing. Good. Fine. Get everybody close. End the turn. Get closer to the door, please. Unthreatened movement. End the turn. Elf first. Damn it. Thinking this kind of could be a situation where the door gets disappeared if I'm not careful. I 
missing chat. I currently have two groups. Had to split them into two when everyone brought a friend. There were too many of us, and those friends kept coming. Been playing with the original four since 2021. Man, that would be so cool. I've been playing with the same group now for a while, but not Hero Quest. Um, good thing Sven picked up the slack and fixing the Northman's reputation. Yeah, he he did, he certainly has. He certainly has been. We'll get a good look at the stats and like the achievements of everybody. Oh wow, I did not expect that. He's speedy too. Light on his feet. These damn mummies though. Gosh, they're tough. We've completed the core game. Keller's Keep, a ton of one-offs from White Dwarf and Fan Made. Spirit, Queen's Torment. One group is three from the end of Prophecy of Talor and group two is starting. Return of the Witch Lord. Are you gonna go in, or are you are you mainly sorta kinda going in order of the official, official timeline? The contemporary official? Ash, is Keller's Keep the only expansion where you enter and leave through doors on the outside of the map? No, it is done in many of the expansions. They typically give you the um, iron and wooden doors and then you are to use those as methods to enter and exit the map. Stop attacking my elf. Okay, it's rude. It's uncomfortable. Thank you. Search for traps. Secret doors. We're about spent. I can't have the elf getting into any more danger. I don't want my heroes dying. Well done, Nicholas. No entry and exit door. Okay. Already answered. <gasps> Mainly chronological. Great. More programming then. I need to expand my canvas to give room for borders. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Well, I did not find the keys of a grain whatsoever. I, uh, never knew what in the hell. So, let's see here. I'll have my dwarf search for treasure. There's a monster. It's got to die. It's got to die as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Didn't die. Oh, man. Oh, man. End turn. I don't think anybody can die. Okay. That's good. That's definitely good. Okay, and turn again. We don't want my elf getting attacked by a random monster. Has my barbarian searched for treasure yet? Nope, and it's trap. Okay, never mind. We're gonna get out of here now. And, uh, that's going to be the quest. The quest has not been completed. Do you still wish Sven to leave? No. So... In turn, not been completed. We still have, ooh. So we still have to find Grain's keys. I looked for secret doors around this area. Oh God, there's the door I need. Oh no. What happens if I stop here? What happens if I stop here? and collect the gold that I have gotten so far in an effort to contribute towards a crossbow. I'm debating whether to dive into Frozen Horror in the near future or waiting until ATOH is released or using proxy resources to insert Atto as soon as we finish Rotwool. Advice, what would y'all do? I would personally wait until the Avalon Hill Atto because the Atto that they provide may not be the exact same experience as the classic one. They may decide to change more than just ogre points, or they may change them to something that we don't expect. Or rather, not, not something that we don't expect, 
as a whole, but you might decide to play them with five body points, and they might release them with varying body points, depending on the class of the ogre. Uh, not necessarily the, the body point tracker, which I would love, but I mean, that's also a possibility. Point being, you could play it one way, and then Avalon Hill would be like, this is the official new way! I'm just here to get a crossbow is a very old-school heroic premise I can get behind. <laughs> Uh, I need that crossbow. I need that crossbow. I fear the Atto to have a playable hoker, which would be the least immersive thing. I would... I would understand why they would do that, but I would not like that either. In Talisman, we have a playable Skaven. But they're, they have alignments in Talisman. You're allowed to be chaotic good or neutral so playing a skaven makes sense because all of the players are against each other anyway <clears throat> but i would probably go right into the next official one and wait for atto of course and i know you hate saying you hate the statement zargon can do whatever he wants <laughs> All right, we've got the time. Let's go explore that last stupid room. I thought I was done. I'm clearly not done. I need Hugo to be usable, so I'm probably going to go ahead and feed him that potion of healing that I got from the treasure search. Please be good. That's not good. That's that's still very deathable. That is still very deathable. I do not like this. Not at all. 1d6 healing potions suck. Give me a, a 4 BP healing potion any day. Lore wise, ogres are neutral and higher but marks not in the contemporary. They're not. There are... I would say, anyway, it. Speaking on the old side, the ogres in Hero Quest, in the classic Hero Quest, were explicitly stated in the book to kind of be that neutral faction because they're all for themselves. Yet there were no playable ogres in the classic expansion. So, no, I don't like. That logic to me doesn't. doesn't track. We, we get, we already have people who complain, which I guess rightfully so, even if I don't agree, even if I, I play favorites with my darling warlock, we have people who do not like the warlock because they say she's not heroic because she's made a pact with a patron. And we have folks that believe we're against orcs, so why do we have an orc bard? I understand these complaints, but if Avalon Hill made a playable ogre, they would be crossing those lines and pushing further into yeah well okay we've never had this before this is a bad guy yeah exactly i'm fear hero quest ogres are we we start breaching that uh warhammer versus hero quest thing again and hero quest is demonstrably it's its own bubble the ties are undeniable but they're just not relevant yeah i hate the 1d6 potions i hate them i i mean sure i could get a six and i could heal six body points and who's gonna who's gonna one shot me then after all, who's gonna argue? But I, I can't stand that risk. Can't do it. HQ versus Warhammer is one of my favorite discussions. It's always interesting the, to see the points from both sides, but all all too often it ends with somebody saying, "Oh, the door's gone." Can I? It's not going to matter. I'm not going to be able to go uh, 
Wait, why did I go that way? That's my bad. I got distracted. I went the wrong way. There's not going to be secret doors that continuously appear until I get to that room. I'm going to have to go the other way around to get there. There's a thread on the old inn called Hero Quest World. As both of Warhammer and HeroQuest Enjoyer, they are similar but separate, like Lord of the Rings and Narnia. New posts in the past day or so with a really compelling argument using the AHQ rulebook. The AHQ rulebook the, is the compelling argument that HeroQuest is more like Warhammer because they're using the advanced HeroQuest rulebook. You mean the rulebook that comes with advanced HeroQuest? You mean the rule book that comes with a game that has nothing to do with Hero Quest except in name only? Yeah, I could see that being a compelling argument. Until I start to think about it. I haven't I haven't visited that thread, so that would not I I'm not one to uh not look at at evidence or not be open to changing my mind, but I don't see myself being convinced that AHQ is the decider of all things that Hero Quest is Warhammer. I would need something more than that. I would need uh, something substantially more. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to go a step way further. And I'm going to I'm going to crush with facts and logics. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. It just none of it matters. It could say whatever it wants, but it, it because it's the advanced hero quest book. It's totally completely it's separate. Because it's a separate proper, it's a separate um, entity. If it was, if it was HeroQuest outright, and it had Milton Bradley, that would be, that would be compelling. But because it is like a continuation, but not using the original property, like in any way except on paper, and because it's only half. It's nuts. It's nuts to say that that would be like, oh, it's official. It says so right here. Got to run for work. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate you. Have a good meeting, if that's possible. Glorantha. Hero Quest is set in the world of Glorantha because Chaosium acquired the rights officially to Hero Quest. They had more rights to it than, than Games Workshop did. More contemporary rights than Games Workshop would have had. Therefore, Hero Quest is set in the world of Glorantha. Glorantha? Glorantha? There you go. It is fun. It, uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of uh, variation between comments, but it's fun to pick through it and be like, yay or nay to each of the different cases. Have a great day. Nick, have a safe flight. Probably won't be on next week. That's okay. Have fun wherever you are going, whatever you are doing. Happy questing. Rudolph. Rudolph, welcome, and hi. Advanced Hero Quest is so Hero Quest. It's got rules and uses the Hero Quest board too, and all. Not, not out of the box. It's, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't use anything from it. If you just play the vanilla game, if you use the optional rules, yeah, yeah, definitely. But it doesn't come with that stuff. So it's like, um, it doesn't require the base game. It's. It is played completely separately from the base game. It does have elements uh, that you can use from the base game if you have them or can proxy them. But it, it's 
it's kind of like I know I make this comparison a couple times, but it's kind of like if a comic book writer was writing a comic book that you loved, and then the publishing company asked another writer to come on board, and the first writer got done with the comic run. They finished the series. They finished it at issue 12. You enjoyed an entire year of this comic book series. Uh, and then, two years later, well, I mean, okay, in the same year, Read the, the old in thread, look for the images of the rule book. That's the post I want to hear you. I have the rule book, Nicholas. I have the game. I've played the game, Nick. <laughs> I already you can't show me something I haven't seen in the rule book because I own the rule book. I've read the rule book. You're hearing the reaction I have to it now. But have a have a good trip. See ya. Hero Quest Heroes fight hard to free themselves from Warhammer. There you go. I'll accept that. That sounds good. Barbara finds two scrolls, Fire of Wrath and Ball of Flame. You also pick up four gold keys and turn. And now I can leave the quest because I previously found the end of this quest. We had a really good haul. We had a really good haul. This quest. I wonder if Sven could search this room for treasure. And I think it would be safe to do so. So I'm going to end our turn. I'm going to have Sven search for treasure. We have found 20 more coins. And that is... Nope, I can do more. I can do more. I am pushing my luck. But I can do more. Barbara the Dwarf will search for treasure. No, he won't, because he's the one who came in and got the chest. Man, I shouldn't have had him do that. Elf. 35 coins! Yeah! That's it. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. That one was stressful. That was stressful. Bohemia, let's, let's play Pillage Quest. Ogre, Orc Warrior, Goblin Shaman, Goblin Trapper, going on a fun destruction of villages. If I get more hero miniatures... And if I can suggest a good source of classic hero miniatures that won't break the bank, we will absolutely have a reverse hero quest game. Otherwise, otherwise you could probably get Zargon to play the heroes and then give each faction color to the different players and go ahead and put them all on the board at the same time and then have have a Nicholas no, come through with uh, Warhammer heroes and and slave. No, he's not. I won't poke fun at him. He's not here. Hugo has no. Wait, 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 wait. During this quest. Hugo defeated five enemies. He had ten attacks. He didn't set off any. Yeah, we'll go to the next hero. No accomplishments. He's only defeated one mummy. Mr. Smith was definitely... was definitely not as... active in this one. Well, he was very active, but he only was able to kill one monster with all of his... One monster? He only defeated one mummy? Oh, he had four successful attacks because he assisted. Whoops.
Let's see. I think. Four mummies and one skeleton. Next hero. Sven defeated the most monsters, bar none. Bar none. We got a, we got quite a bit of gold in that quest. We got 85, I think. Yeah, I love the reverse HQ you did with the mages. Oh, you've been around a while if you saw that one. That's been kind of... That's an old one. 45, 60. We have 160. We have 280 gold. We have 280 gold. That's not enough for a crossbow. But after the next quest, I will absolutely have enough for a crossbow. I'll probably play the whole quest and I'll backtrack. And then search the rooms until I have enough money. Because this quest, I, I had to restart. And I, I did something kind of risky though, even, even before I knew I had to restart. I searched with all heroes in a couple of rooms to try to get gold. I did get some potions. Whoa, 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 what? The key of a grain sells for 200 gold? This key will stop any of a grain's mummies from attacking the holder? What? What are you talking about? Have I been... Were those Agrain's mummies in the quest? To begin with? Or are Agrain's mummies in a future quest? We'll have to cheese this and look at the book. I could sell these keys for 800 gold altogether if I didn't want them. And I, for 800 gold, I don't think I want them. I'll have to read the book and see if I'm going to need them mechanic. I, don't, I, would, I shouldn't need them mechanically. They're not artifacts. But I can sell them. Did I discover this the last time I played? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cut it here. That's a lot of crossbow. That's like two crossbow. That's like if I sell some stuff. Well, with the gold I have already, that's like three crossbow. That's almost a guaranteed win. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And for being a part of the uh, of the boss battle at the beginning and the stream throughout, it was a lot of fun. We'll have to check out the uh, the the latter half of the video subject matter. We'll have to see if Advanced Hero Quest is Hero Quest is Warhammer, uh, and we'll. I'm getting some stuff sent to me by Nick right now for me to read over. The scans of the rule book, irrelevant. I have the rule book. I have read the rule book. I've got the game. I've got the it's on my shelf. You can see it in the background. Right there. But I will uh I will check it out anyways. A great day's questing to everyone. Looking forward to next week. I will be here. I will be here. I've been thinking about taking a break from one of the two day streamings, but I will uh, probably take a break from Baldur's Gate and go ahead and, and just do my my uh, Hero Quest stream next week. Ah, Ribby. Oh my God. Brutal. Brutal. Ribby just attacked me. He has ended the stream. I'll see you next week, guys. Or, uh, you know, tomorrow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Funny how you managed to attack Ash and not the boss on your 144p resolution. Ooh. Ooh. Pew, 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 pew. Burn. Take Ribby to the burn ward. All right, I'm out of here. Bye, guys.
See ya.